Hello my loyal companions, welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm going to show you 10 of the best smoke grenade locations across all the different maps in Bro Company. They're going to help you as attackers push through towards the objective and towards some of these angles without being shot from some of these really annoying angles. I've always preached that smoke grenades are really important when you're trying to play demolition in Rogue Company and they're proving to be even more important as you move through to the current stages of the meta that we're looking at now. Therefore, if you do go on to enjoy the video or you just want to see daily educational Rogue Company content, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. But for now, let's get into it. So the way I'm going to show you this video is I'm going to show you one clip of me moving throughout the map without the smoke grenade and show you how I can get shot from these angles. I'm then going to show you it with the smoke grenade so you can see the comparison and how useful these smoke grenades are. Whilst this was done in 1v1 custom, these are designed for 4v4 teams and they are much more effective when you have a team around you to help support you by covering some of the other angles as well. Of course, in 1v1, they can just push through the smoke and kill you. But in a 4v4, that is much less likely to happen. And therefore, these smokes are going to be really useful. And they're also supported by a lot of the competitive games that you've seen me spectate here on this channel. Let's now, though, look at some of the best smoke grenade locations across the maps in Rogue Company. Our first smoke grenade is going to be coming onto Factory. It's going to help you as an attacker move onto the B site a little bit safer by blocking off your left hand side. And as you see the first approach here, you'll see the angle we tend to get shot at as we move across this area, how the smoke grenade will help. A little bit later on, you can see as I move through, I do get shot and I'm pinched behind that cover. This rendition, though, is going to be with the smoke grenade to show you exactly how that smoke grenade can help you and where to place it to block off that angle. As you move through here, you play around this piece of cover. You smoke off that entire area by just throwing it right in the middle. And as you move around this part of factory, that area is blocked off from you and you are safe along that cross to head towards the bomb site and flood out from there. Next is going to be Skyfell and this is going to help you cross from mid to A one of the fastest and in my opinion one of the best pushes on this map if you four stack this as a team. You can see the uh, danger that you're going to be in as you try and do this without the smoke grenade. You're crossing through here and as your entire team comes you can get shot and if they're a good shot you can definitely get killed there. But now when you use the smoke grenade you're going to be able to see it a little bit differently. I move through here and I throw the smoke grenade by bouncing it off of this wall to make sure I cover the entirety of that mid area. Of course, shots can still come through, but you generally are pretty safe as you move towards the A site. Next is going to be Windward, and this is a map and actually one of the first smoke grenades I've ever learned and thought about to use on this map. And it has two uses that you'll see here, but generally is to stop the people who are actually on the A site shooting you as you try and work it and push up a little bit. And you see I come through here, rotating here through mid, or you could come up this staircase as well, whatever gets you to the A site by whatever path you choose. And as you come round, you're really open as you come and get shot through here, taking down really low and just managing to get into cover but if there were better guns we would have been able to die there. As I try this now I'm going to show you with the smoke grenade and show you the angle at which you can throw the smoke grenade to get the best advantage to push onto the site without being shot from those people on A site. I come here I'm hugging the wall to make sure I can throw the smoke grenade and it blocks off the entire site by just throwing it in front of that little wall. I can cross here completely safe and then head to either the site itself and plant the bomb or around the back. Now this is a different rendition of this uh, though that I really like this is the one I first started using. I really use it for Lancer to get an easy kill off someone on cannons without being shot from those people on A site. You come across the zip and on your land, you immediately throw it up against the small part of the wall. So it bounces and blocks off that same area. You then run through bar and as you turn this corner, there's normally somebody there watching cannons who you can then kill. Icarus A site is quite a dangerous place to be trying to plant the bomb, but it's really popular at the moment, especially with the scorch for the anti uh, fire to get that plant down without having much trouble getting on. However, you can be shot quite easily from that angle if you're not careful and what I'm going to show you here is exactly that and how you can use a smoke grenade really well to bounce it off the wall and stop yourself uh, being in that much danger but as we come here and I move through to a site and I try and plant the bomb I can get shot quite easily on that cross and as I'm planting the bomb I can still be shot from my left here and I am almost going to die there but now I'll show you it with the smoke grenade and show you how different it can be and how that one smoke grenade can really help you get an easier defuse off or at least sort of put it somewhere where they're not going to notice exactly where you're planting the bomb and that's really important. So again, moving through round to A site here, coming around this corner. I'll take a bit of time to line it up, but this is the angle you want to be throwing it at. You throw it off there, it will bounce straight into the middle and give you a good line of coverage as you move through there. You can move through dodging the bullets and plant wherever you want and the enemy won't know about it. Next is going to be Arena and this is a pretty important smoke grenade I think if you're crossing towards the B site. Well, this can also be played at A site if you throw it at the top of the stairs, but basically we're going to be blocking off a really important angle that can see so much 
and means you can move and work onto the B site a little bit easier. So as I come around this corner, you can see someone ran up to the stairs there, and that is the angle we we're going to be wanting to block off because you can actually shoot and move from there. And also at this point, if they push forward a bit further. Now though, what you'll see is where this smoke grenade can be placed to prevent this just a little bit more and help you sort of move through that position a little bit easier. So I come around here and I throw the smoke grenade just right in front of it. Uh, the smoke pops up and I won't be able to be shot from that angle as I cross towards the B site or work a different angle of B as I move through here. Next is going to be canals and this is a great smoke grenade to help you plant for the A site without being punished too heavily for it. And one we've seen a lot in competitive play recently because this smoke grenade can be really valuable. Again, just an important note that these are designed for 4v4s where you also have your team somewhat covering you. Obviously in a 1v1, they can just push through the smoke and kill you as you go for a plant. But generally the idea is that this will be 4v4 and these are good smoke grenades that will help you as a team push on and get the bomb or push through uh, certain bad lines of areas. But as we move through here onto the B site, sorry, um, you can see I get shot pretty easily as I come around that corner. But now as we're going to do a different rendition, we're going to see it without, uh, also with the smoke grenade and how that makes a difference as I move through here onto this map. So coming around this uh, B long side again, again, normally you would stack a 2-2 here. That would tend to be the strategy as you move through. And coming around this long angle, I'm going to be watching just for the really, really long angle there by Snowflake, just to make sure no one's there. As I move through onto the B side, I'm going to smoke right here on my left, and it will cover that entire area. I would have a team to, to sort of support me here from anyone jumping above me, but generally I'd be fine. The next map is going to be Favelas, and this is another great smoke location. They can actually do two things. The first uh, that you'll see is as I try and push through to mini garage from big garage here, uh, I will get shot off from multiple different angles that you can actually be beamed from. But this one smoke grenade can do a lot. And we'll see that after you see the exact angle I'm talking about as we move through here. So I run from big garage, run straight through into mini garage, trying to get this really good bandit position, but I am getting shot. And again, better guns could result in death there as we move through. Now though, I do have uh, the smoke grenade equipped. I am going to throw a smoke grenade to try and block off that area and really help myself push it through there. So pushing through from big garage and I just hug this wall. I make sure to check mini garage because I can be shot as I try and throw this smoke. And I throw it quite close to me because I don't want to overextend too much. Smoke goes down and I'm pretty covered from the window and the back of their spawn as I move through. That is not the only way to use this smoke though. You can use it for a push down to A from this angle, throw it from this way. You can either use this <clears throat> to block a line of sight from mini garage as you push to the site or as a rotate option without them seeing you rotate to a site. So it really helps you get onto either bomb site that smoke grenade from that angle on tree. The next map is gonna be locked down and this is gonna really help you if you're pushing onto B site. And of course you wanna stop someone cross firing you from the mid to that garage door that can open there. It's a really important one that you do have control of, whether it be someone sitting in mid or whether it be using the smoke grenade. And as you can see, as I move through here, I'm being cautious as I approach B because there are many different angles but it's my left hand side that I'm getting shot from and there's, has so much line of sight into different areas of that B site that you have to be careful with it. So now what you're going to see is one part of this uh, lockdown uh, smoke and this is going to be showing you just how to block off that area nice and easily just by throwing the smoke down as you move around. You do get there slightly before them so you do have a bit of time to throw a smoke grenade down and it's all good as you then push onto the B site. However, there's another way that you can use this smoke grenade uh, in a very similar location and that is to actually block off the line of sight as you push through to mid. And I'll show you all here. You bounce it off this wall. You give yourself cover from the people on B site and rush straight into the garage door. Open up and generally you'll get there just about quicker than the person opening the door and be able to kill them. The next map will be High Castle. And this is a great smoke grenade if you want to try and work A. Normally B is the better play here because it's less dangerous to try and push. But this smoke grenade on A can help you push it a little bit. This is definitely designed for the 4v4. As you see as I run up the staircase. I'm going to get beamed from the one person watching it. They normally only stack one person watching this. So by using this smoke grenade I'm about to show you, you have cover from their backup to stop their backup pushing towards them. And you as a four man can rush this and kill the person who's meant to be on that, either from the zip line or the staircase. Here I am throwing the smoke grenade. It will go up and block that angle. That is again designed to block the cover and the backup to stop uh, the person from A receiving help as you push onto the A site and kill whoever might be there. This also works uh, from the zip line angle if you're doing a full push, whoever's got the smoke grenade, maybe somebody's going across the zip. This is going to be a great smoke grenade from this angle as well. You can bounce it in the same area and go across the zip fairly safely while your team move up the stairs and then be able to push that person on the A site for a pincer. And then the final map is going to be Vice and this again will help you push onto the A site. It's actually one of my favorite smoke grenades because of the angles that are so important here and it covers two major ones that will help your team just work A a little bit easier. So you can see as I move here onto the A site, a really uh, big thing that stops you being able to get the plant off is that little cut that heads to mid and to speakers right here that you see in front of me. 
as I'm moving through here, trying to be cautious around this cover, maybe watching for who's in waters, I'm able to get beamed as I go for this plant, and that's not great, I have to fall back into bathrooms. However, you can get smoke grenades off from different angles, I'm showing you moving through bathrooms here, um, and I'm also going to check this corner really quickly, make sure you use this peak, just make sure no one's ratting in there, and as I push through onto this bathroom side, I'm going to smoke just right here in front of me to block off that area. That smoke grenade is crucial not only to maybe help you try and get the bomb plant down like you see here, but also because it can protect your teammate who is back here as well. Maybe they're getting in a gunfight with the person, and as the smoke grenade comes down from you, it does block off that area that helps them stop getting shot at. Okay then guys, it's going to take us to the end of the video. I want to give a very special shout out to Bradman93 from Rogue Community who helped me film this video and some of the other videos that you've seen me put up on this channel. So a big thank you to him. Guys, all his links will be in the description for his Rogue Community Twitter, the Discord, and his YouTube where he puts together community montage clips. So make sure you go check him out as well. If you did enjoy though, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. You can also come follow me on twitch.tv slash radthargaming see live gameplay commentaries, guides, Q&As, and playing with viewers. If you're buying anything from the Epic Games Store, whether it be Rogue Company Roadbox or anything from any other Epic Games, make sure you use my creator code RADTHARGAMING at checkout to help support this channel with no extra cost to yourself. All the links you're going to need are down in the description below, but for now guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. And remember, be loyal, be brave, be relentless, and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>